Hey everyone, today I want to talk about a common issue many of us have been running into with DeepSeek, the server busy error. DeepSeek is an amazing AI-powered assistant that helps streamline everything from answering questions to managing your daily tasks, but it can be incredibly frustrating when you're in the middle of something important and suddenly see that error message. I'm here to share some insights on why this happens and what you can do to get back on track quickly. When you see this server busy message, it's a sign that the system is overwhelmed. This often happens when there's too much traffic, hitting the servers at once, or when there are technical glitches or even security measures kicking in because of unusual activity. Since DeepSeek is available as a free service, a lot of users are drawn to it, and that heavy traffic can sometimes overload the system. In simple terms, it's like trying to enter a crowded room where the door is too narrow. Sometimes you just have to wait until there's more space point. One of the easiest fixes that many users have discovered is simply starting a new session. If you're stuck in a long conversation that seems to be part of the problem, closing that session and beginning a fresh chat can sometimes bypass the overload. Some people have even found that using a different browser or creating a new account gives them a fresh set of tokens or a new connection that works more smoothly. While switching accounts might not be ideal if you want to keep your conversation history intact, it can be a useful workaround when you're in a pinch and need to get back to using DeepSeek immediately. Another approach that a few advanced users have mentioned is running DeepSeek model locally. This means setting up the AI on your own hardware, which can help you avoid the public server limitations entirely. Of course, this option requires some technical know-how and the right hardware setup but it's worth considering if you frequently run into the server busy problem. Check out online how to run DeepSeek locally. Sometimes the issue might actually be on your end rather than with DeepSeek servers. Over time, your browser collects temporary files and cookies that can interfere with how websites and services load. Clearing your cache and cookies can be a surprisingly effective fix. Timing can also play a big role in your experience. Many users have noticed that the server busy error tends to occur during peak usage hours. Depending on your time zone, you might find that using DeepSeek during off-peak times results in fewer issues. If you're not in a rush, waiting. A few hours could allow you to catch the service when fewer people are online. There's also been some discussion about the possibility of a premium or subscription model. The current overload is partly a consequence of offering a free service to everyone, which naturally attracts a lot of users. A paid model could help manage the demand by filtering usage and funding better server infrastructure. Although DeepSeek hasn't rolled out such an option yet, supporting premium features in the future might be a way to enhance the service overall and reduce these server issues I in the end. While it can be annoying to see that server busy message when you need help the most, taking a few simple steps can often resolve the problem. Thanks for watching, and I hope these tips help you get back to using DeepSeek without the frustration. If you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tech tips and updates.